Welcome to Gonzales Science, everybody. I'm your host, Gonzales. Today, you're in for a wonderful treat. It's gonna be a beautiful experiment where I'm gonna show you how to make a simple motor using simple parts that you can find at home. If you have not yet, please subscribe to the page. Also, if you haven't yet, turn on those notifications. Ding, ding! To make sure that you go ahead, and when you do that, you'll be notified of when I upload videos or when I comment back to the comments that you have. So please go ahead and do that. And if you like the video, Give it a thumbs up. So without further ado, let's talk about the experiment. So what you really need for this experiment, what I have are a simple battery. Um, I'll show you how to do that. Now what you, what you do with this is you take the magnets and you put them right here like this, underneath on the negative side. And then so you can make different designs and you can make different things uh, to help you do this. And you can actually have this wire, right? You need that wire too, sorry, I didn't mention that earlier. You can make this wire into different shapes. So for example, I'm just gonna wrap this wire around because that's the easiest thing to do. And I can have this cool, really cool shape where it'll start spinning, right? One end's gotta be touching the positive side and one end's gotta be on the negative side now. Um, oops. Remember, I don't edit those videos. Okay, so um, it should be something like this. Uh, now it would take me about five, 10 minutes to get this right. So what I have done is I've already made one uh, beforehand for you. You can see here it's touching the bottom slightly and then it's going to start spinning. So let me take the camera over here so you can see this wonderful, beautiful motor right now. Check that out. I've got my own homemade motor. Now as you're watching this, look at how both the positive end and the negative end are touching. So the negative end is touching the two neodymium magnets while the positive end is touching the positive side. So notice how I spin it around. And there are so many variations to how I could turn this wire. I mean, I could have two wires on here and do maybe a butterfly or something like that. But now this is called a homopolar motor. Now the thing with this motor is it's a very simple motor. So there's an electromagnetic force and current that is causing that wire to move. We're using the battery and we're also using a magnet. So that's why it's called electromagnet. There's an electromagnet force there. Now we could make it go even faster depending on the shape of the wire. So Everything is dependent on the shape. So I just thought this was really cool, something you could do at home, something you could get with some simple uh, magnets, battery, uh, wire, very, very simple. Uh, let me show you another one uh, as we do this. So I'll let you watch this really quickly here. So another one that I find to be very cool is, you can do this now, there's a little variation in this for you. So check this out. So I'm gonna take this wire again. I'm gonna take the two batteries. Now watch this, right? This is all I've done. This is my setup. I've taken the batteries. It's hanging on to uh, the battery right now because of the, the magnets. And I'm just gonna make these, these puppies spin. Okay, let's check this out. Check it out, check it out. Look at that speed. Oops. Let's see how fast we can get these to go. There it is, that's wonderful. Let me take it closer so you can see how fast that's actually going. Okay, I think you can see it this way, sorry, here we go. Oops, there it is right there, check that out. So you can actually see it's spinning right now and it can go pretty darn fast, so check that out. The electromagnetic current that we're using yet again, wonderful, beautiful, check that out. I mean, we are literally going super duper fast and we've got our own motor using the electromagnetic force on here. Wonderful stuff. So this is another variation, look how fast that's going, wow! That is amazingly fast. Wow, I can't believe how fast that is going. That's truly amazing. So these are just things that you could do at home. Again, there's a variation, there's a creativity involved in this that uh, you get to choose. And I love this because you get to choose the type of shape that you wanna make and stuff like that. So that's the experiment for the day. I just wanted to do one big shout out for a very, very dear friend of mine. Manuel Barone, I used to work with him, ASB director, science teacher extraordinaire from Edgewood High School, one of my good friends. Big shout out to you and the work that you're doing there on ASB, tremendous. We both started working together when I worked out there and uh, he's a great guy, so a big shout out to you. I'm glad things are going well for you in ASB at the high school level. Again, if you like the video, two thumbs up, no thumbs down though. Again, thanks for joining me for Gonzalez Science. Have a great day. Ah, yeah.